Hi friends. This is Abdul Ghafoor. Uh, uh, teaching and learning uh, tutorial video uh, today in the pedagogy test uh, course uh, 007. I'll be talking about the theories uh, theories of uh, human motivation motivation. Another name of these theories is the Maslow's uh, hierarchy uh, needs, uh, which was uh, written by Maslow Abraham in 1943. I do believe that efforts and motivations are correlated. For myself, uh, motivation really matters for my students motivation really matters I'm sure uh, same as you so he wrote you know the needs of you know uh, society or needs of individual in which he put these needs in order in hierarchy form. One is a self actualization, which is a self fulfillment. Second, steam needs, belonging needs, and love needs, which is the physiological needs. Uh, sorry, uh, the psychological uh, needs. However, physiological needs are safety needs and physi physiological needs. In self actualization, that means self fulfillment. Every individual wants recognition and has a potential. to create something and that creativity it includes you know his achievement and that self fulfillment and recognitions is giving the motivations to an individual for example any students in the classroom who has done the project which is marvelous which can be recognized and he or she has a you know potential to do that that is called self actualization which is exactly relying you know or self realization that an individual has you know that much potential that he or she can create or can do something similarly another aspect or the need of you know esteem need self esteem self respect if you are recognizing somebody if you are respecting somebody that means that you are motivating you are giving a privilege or self-respect and recognizing his or her status in this one which is quite you know a step towards the next stage in among students if you are appreciating if you are respecting your students inside the classroom that is actually a move or a forward a step forward towards the next stage that's the kind of the motivation that every individual needs or it's a, it's a need of, you know, every individual. The consequences will be different. Similarly, belonging and love needs, you know. If you look at your belongings, your attachment to your family, your children's attachment to you, and that intimation of relationship that 
that shows you know, the motivations to every individual to move to the next unit. So that's really important, bonding, friendship, close relationship, either in the school, office, family, family relations, okay. They are providing a such type of the motivations, okay, to move to uh, another stage. This is our need, you know, because an isolated or an isolation is quite a dangerous, okay. It's a hard to survive in that, you know. So self-respect, steam need, belonging, love and bonding needs, this is our human motivation. Similarly, the basic need which we have a two safety need and physiological need. That every individual needs security. It can be financial security. It can be, you know, uh, the health well-being. It can be emo emo emotional security. That if an individual is satisfied with this security, that means he is able to move or forward to the next stage. That is kind of the motivation. An individual is cap capable to think about something else. You know. So safety is the basic need of an individual, which is also, you know, that the uh, motivation, which is a, a push factor to move over, uh, to, to the next stage. Physiological needs, which is, you know, another basic need, which is food, water, rest, and uh, many, many uh, other things, you know, uh, well-being as well as, you know, and uh, sleep, clothes, health, these all are the basic needs, you know. So Maslow's, you know, humans theories they are explaining the human needs and how these needs are uh, motivating an individual and how these motivations are essential or uh, mandatory uh, factors uh, which help every student every uh, professional more every uh, parent, every uh, human uh, which is helping him to move to the next uh, stage. If you're going to remove uh, these human needs, I don't think so that we can uh, produce a sustainable society. This factor or society without these needs, needs uh, it will be a kind of, you know, uh, having a different semblance which might give you the, uh, what we call, an isolated and uh, um, a disorder and uh, sick mind, you know, and uh, not self actualized people and it will, it might, you know, give some abnormal, uh, you know, that the people or it gives you, uh, which can cause, you know, to destroy the society. So these basic uh, needs or the basic uh, human uh, needs are the many factors which are causing to develop and produce a, a sustainable society and which makes you unable to live in it. So I hope that you understand what exactly I wanted to talk about, you know, these five human uh, needs which was introduced by the um, Maslow Abraham and they have a different names uh, Maslow's hierarchy or the human uh, motivations or Maslow's needs 
it has a different, you know, that the, so these are the five theories. One is the self uh, actualization, another category belongs to the uh, psychological need, and uh, other one, another one which belongs to the basic need of the society. Uh, thank you so much, okay. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. If you have any comment, please write a comment. I'll be trying to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. We'll be meeting in the next lesson. Goodbye.